Hi everybody, I've had an idea. Um, you might remember I've done quite a few of this type of pour, which I called my explosive Dutch pour. So this was rings of paint blown out from the centre to create an, a sort of explosion look. Um, I also really like doing spirals like this one here. And also I've got one up there. I really like the, the sort of the structure and the shape of a spiral with the chaos of the fluid art. So I'm going to try and combine them both. I'm going to try and do um, an explosive Dutch pour, but I'm going to put the paint down in a slight spiral to start with and then blow it out um, like this one, like the, the explosive Dutch pour. So the, the blowout will be totally symmetrical but the paint will be layered in a spiral. So I'm hoping it will give the effect of a spiral at the end. I'm not really sure. I've got, I've got the idea up here. Who knows if it will work? These are the colours I'm going to use. Um, because it's an explosive Dutch pour, the colours will blend and they will mix. So I had to pick colours that if they mix and muddy together, they will they will look nice. So I think this will work. The yellow, the, sorry, the silver, the gold might clash a little bit, but I wanted to add some contrast. So I've got Amsterdam white for the base, um, Amsterdam permanent blue violet, Venetian rose, De La Rowney velvet purple, and then Pebio iridescent red blue and iridescent gold. So they're all mixed with flood floatrol and water. I'll put the recipe for that in the description of this video. I'm using a 50 centimeter canvas, so quite a big canvas because I want enough room for the, the design to show really. Um, I changed my mind, instead of just doing a white base, I'm going to, I'm not going to have a base, I'm just going to pour the colours on. Um, you, I don't know if you can see this, I've, I've done a cross for the centre so I know where the centre is, and then I've just drew, sketched on a very rough spiral. So that's my template, that's my outline. Um, so I'm going to use, the colour that I quite like to be the dominant one is the permanent blue violet. So I'm just going to pour the paint on um, over that spiral. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, but it's just as a rough guide. Right, I'm happy with that, but I just want more of it, I think. Right, I think that now is plenty of paint. So that was the more tricky part. The easier part now is actually the blowing out because I, I just need to blow from the centre outwards in every direction. So there are some bits of bare canvas still, but my the theory is that that won't matter. It, they will just all get... Um, covered as I blow this out. So I'm just going to start from the centre. Oh, I'm a bit nervous now. Right, let's go for it. Right. 
Right, it's working, but I'm going to turn my canvas. I think being right-handed, I just, I would rather have the same direction of uh, flow each time. Oh my goodness, these cells are insane. Wow, it has totally worked. The centre is is interesting. It's not there's not so much pattern there, but if you think about this purple, the darker purple, you've got it. You've got you've totally totally got the spiral. Oh, what a beautiful colour scheme! The gold cells are amazing. Also, the um, iridescent pinky reddy colour they're beautiful I'm so glad I separated them I didn't put them together as it would have been too much of a cluster of cells I'm contemplating torching just over where some of the purple is because I can see that purple trying to come through yeah it's just helping that purple to come through Yeah, especially there. That's much better because now can, you can see I've got the purple. There was a bit of a break in the purple, whereas now that purple's come through. Oh wow, that's really worked. You can really see the purple, the spiral better now. I think it's also helped having the two purples together, which I did deliberately, but I think having them together, it just highlights the purple. Wow, I've actually got it, a dark purple spiral. Right, let me show you up close. I am so, so happy and excited by this. I am literally doing a happy dance. It just, it reminds me of tie-dye. Um, I just, I love the order in the chaos. There's just something that really appeals to me. Fluid art is so chaotic, so abstract, but I just somehow love to get a pattern and some structure in it. And that's definitely what I've got here. Just look at these cells. They've interacted beautifully. The pinker cells are slightly smaller. The gold cells are huge. But because this is a big canvas, it works. If this was a smaller canvas, it would look too crowded and too chaotic. I mean, even there, just on the edge. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm already, my mind is racing. I'm thinking, what can I do next? What what colour scheme next? Um, can I do this again? Um Oh, these colours are so, so pretty together. And you can see that it works having colours that you know are going to blend together well. Um, because there is, for example, there, that's a muddy area in the middle. But it doesn't matter because it's either pink or purple or a combination of the two. So colours that blend well together to make another colour is definitely the way to go. Um, and also, you've got almost this sort of lightning bolt through the centre. Really happy with that. Um, if I did it again, I might think about doing a bit of an extra swirl in the middle, but I just think it kind of breaks it up a bit. Brilliant. I'll be back when this is dry. So here is the dry result. I'm still doing my happy dance. I'm so happy with it. 
the concept works. You've got the swirl exactly as I wanted, um, but what has made it made it for me are the cells. I was not expecting such an explosion of cells. So the gold cells and the iridescent red blue cells. Wow, they just look beautiful. I'm, I'm just over the moon with it. Um, the colours work beautifully together. Really, really pretty colour scheme. So warm and vibrant. Um, love it. Um, I'm never that much of a fan of negative space, as you can probably tell. So there is zero negative space. It is full on positive space. So that everything about this, um, I'm happy with. The, just the absolute chaos, the crowded in nature of the painting. So on a bare wall, um, it just makes such, be such a feature. Um, great, that's the pinger. That means my dinner's ready. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please do hit the thumbs up button. Please do subscribe to my channel. Great, okay, take care everyone. Bye.